Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a donkey named Max. Max was kind, gentle, and wise, loved by all the animals in the kingdom. One day, the king fell ill, and his advisers searched far and wide for a worthy successor. They discovered Max, and to everyone's surprise, he was crowned the new king. Max, now the donkey key. King wore a golden crown and sat upon a throne. But he never forgot his humble beginnings. He used his newfound power to help the poor, the sick, and the weak. He listened to everyone's problems and offered wise solutions. The kingdom flourished under Max's kind rule, and the animals lived happily ever after. Max proved that even the humblest of creatures can make a great leader with a heart full of love and compassion. Moral of the story True greatness comes from serving others and using our gifts to make the world a better place. I hope you enjoyed the story. Let me know if you have any other requests. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a kind and gentle girl named Sophia. Sophia loved flowers and spent her days taking care of the beautiful blooms in her garden. One day, a strong wind knocked over a nearby flower cart, scattering colourful blooms everywhere. The flower seller was heartbroken. Sophia quickly came to, came to the rescue, gathering the flowers and rearranging them in a stunning bouquet. The flower seller was so grateful that he asked Sophia to be his little flower girl assistant. Together, they created the most breathtaking arrangements, bringing joy to everyone in the village. As Sophia's talent and kindness spread, people, people began calling her the little flower girl. She continued to share her gift, making the world a brighter and more beautiful place, one flower at a time. Moral of the story Our unique talents and gifts can bring happiness to others and make a positive impact in our community. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Tommy. Tommy was a bit chubby and struggled to run and play with his friends. They would tease him, calling him Fat Boy. Tommy felt sad and alone, wishing he could be stronger and faster like the others. One day, Tommy met a wise old man who asked him, Tommy, what's inside you that's strong and powerful? Tommy thought for a moment and said, My heart, it beats fast and strong. The old man smiled and said, That's right, your heart is strong, and with a strong heart, you can do anything. He encouraged Tommy to start small, like taking short walks and playing gentle games. Tommy did as advised, and soon discovered he could do more than he thought. He began to enjoy activities like swimming, cycling, and even running. His friends noticed his progress and started calling him Strong Boy instead of Fat Boy. Tommy realized that everyone has something special inside them, and with determination and practice, they can discover their own strength and abilities. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there was a world unlike any other. This world was called Colorland, where everything was vibrant and alive with the most beautiful hues imaginable. In Colorland, the sun didn't just shine bright yellow, but it also painted the sky with a symphony of oranges, pinks, and purples every sunrise and sunset. The grass wasn't just green. It was a lush carpet of emerald with patches of sapphire, ruby, and topaz flowers sprinkled throughout. But the most extraordinary thing about Colorland was its inhabitants, the colorful creatures. These creatures were a mix of animals and fantastical beings, each one bursting tiger, with his bold orange stripes and majestic yellow mane, who ruled over the colorful jungle with grace and strength. Every day in Colorland was an adventure filled with laughter, friendship, and endless possibilities. 
The colorful creatures danced in the rainbows that arched across the sky after a gentle rain shower, and they played hide-and-seek among the shimmering leaves of the enchanted forest. But one day, a darkness crept into Colorland. A shadowy figure known as the Grey Sorcerer appeared, threatening to drain all the color and life from the world. The colorful creatures knew they had to act fast to save their home. With courage in the hearts and colors blazing bright, Ruby, Sapphire, Topaz, and all the other colorful creatures banded together to confront the Grey Sorcerer. They used their unique abilities and the power of friendship to defeat the darkness and restore Colorland to its former glory. From that day on, Colorland shone even brighter than before, its colors more vibrant and alive than ever. And the colorful creatures lived happily ever after, knowing that as long as they stood together, they could overcome any challenge that came their way. The Amazing Adventure of Benny's Body Parts Benny was a curious boy who loved learning about his body. One day his brain said, Hey, let's go on an adventure. His heart joined in, beating excitedly, his lungs took a deep breath, and his legs started moving. As they journeyed through Benny's body, they met his stomach, who was busy digesting a tasty meal. His small intestine helped absorb the nutrients, and his kidneys filtered out the waste. Along the way, they met Benny's skin, who was protecting him from the outside world. His muscles flexed their strength, and his bones provided a sturdy framework. As they reached the top of Benny's head, ah, his brain exclaimed, Wow, we've seen so much. We're all connected and work together to keep Benny healthy and happy. From that day on, Benny appreciated his amazing body and took good care of all his incredible body parts. I hope you enjoyed the story. Let me know if you'd like more. The Magic Words Once upon a time, there was a little rabbit named Rosie. Rosie loved playing with her friends and going on adventures, but sometimes she forgot to say please and thank you. One day, while Rosie was out playing, she stumbled upon a mysterious shop. The sign above the door read, Magical Manners. Curious, Rosie went inside and met the friendly shopkeeper, Mrs. Manners. Mrs. Manners told Rosie that good manners were like magic words that made everyone feel happy and special. She taught Rosie how to use please, thank you, excuse me, and sorry. Rosie practiced and practiced until she remembered to use her magic words all the time. And guess what? People started smiling at her more, and her friends wanted to play with her even more. Rosie learned that good manners were like a special kind of magic that made everyone feel happy and loved, and she lived happily ever after, spreading joy and kindness wherever she went. Remember, kids, using good manners is like sharing a little bit of magic with everyone around you. In a land where the sky meets the sea in a shimmering embrace, there lies a secret known only to the bravest of adventurers. Beneath the waves of the magical sea, there's said to be a treasure chest filled with gleaming gold coins, hidden for centuries by the mystical creatures who call the sea their home. One bright morning, a young boy named Leo heard whispers of the hidden treasure from the wise old turtle who lived on the shore. With a twinkle in his eye and a heart full of courage, Leo embarked on a daring quest to uncover the treasure of the magical sea. Guided by the gentle currents and the laughter of playful dolphins, Leo dove into the, the crystal-clear waters, his eyes sparkling with excitement. As he swam deeper and deeper, he encountered colorful schools of fish and graceful seahorses who whispered tales of the treasure's whereabouts. With each passing wave, 
Leo felt the warmth of adventure coursing through his veins. Finally, after a journey filled with wonder and discovery, he stumbled upon a hidden cove where the treasure chest lay nestled among vibrant coral reefs and swaying seaweed. With trembling hands, Leo opened the chest to reveal a dazzling array of gold coins, each one shining like a miniature sun. But as he reached out to claim his prize, he heard a gentle Echoing voice through the depths of the sea. It was the voice of the sea itself, speaking in whispers of wisdom and magic. And in that moment, Leo realized that the true treasure of the magical sea was not the gold coins, but the journey itself, the friends he had made along the way, the wonders he had witnessed, and the courage that, that had led him to this moment. With a grateful heart, Leo bid farewell to the treasure chest and returned to the surface, where the sun greeted him with its warm embrace. And though he left the gold coins behind, he carried with him the memories of his adventure, forever etched in his heart as a reminder of the midget. Once upon a time, in the enchanted forest of Whimsy Woods, there lived a young fairy named Lily. Lily was known for her kind heart and adventurous spirit. One day, while exploring a hidden grove, she stumbled upon a shimmering stick lying beneath a rainbow. Curiosity sparked. Lily picked up the stick, feeling a tingling sensation coursing through her tiny fingers. Little did she know, this was no ordinary stick. It was a magical power stick crafted by the ancient wizards of the forest. With a flick of the stick, Lily discovered she could summon gusts of wind to lift her high above the trees, granting her the ability to soar through the sky like a graceful, bird. She giggled with delight as she twirled and danced among the clouds, but the stick held even greater wonders. With a gentle tap, Lily could make flowers bloom in an instant, turning the forest into a vibrant tapestry of colors. She used her newfound power to bring joy to every corner of Whimsy Woods, spreading laughter and happiness wherever she went. However, Lily soon realized that great power comes with great responsibility. As she witnessed the wonders she could create, she also saw the potential for harm if the magic fell into the wrong hands. Determined to protect her home, Lily vowed to use the power of the stick wisely and only for the great, greater good. And so, with her magical power, stick in hand, Lily continued her adventures in Whimsy Woods inspiring others to believe in the magic of kindness and the wonders of the world around them. And they all lived happily ever after, under the watchful care of their beloved fairy guardian. Once upon a time, in a tiny village, there was a small, mysterious pot. The pot was hidden away in a corner of an old, dusty shop. One day, a curious child named Timmy stumbled upon the shop and discovered the pot. As soon as Timmy touched the pot, it began to glow. A soft, magical voice whispered, Welcome, Timmy. I have been waiting for you. My name is Potty, and I have the power to make your dreams come true. Timmy's eyes widened with wonder. Really? he exclaimed. Potty said, Yes, but you must use your imagination and kindness. Use your imagination and kindness to make the magic work. Timmy thought for a moment, then said, I wish for a never-ending supply of food to feed the hungry animals in the forest. Poti glowed brighter and said, Your wish is granted, Timmy, but remember, kindness and imagination are the secrets to making magic happen. From that day on, Timmy and Poti went on many adventures together spreading joy and making the world a brighter place. The End Bye, bye Timmy